In this lesson, we are going to have a look at the idea of a Brownian motion. This is useful because it helps indirectly to confirm that atoms exist. You are in a darkened room, the air is still and the bright lights are streaming from a window. What you notice about the dust particles, the black circles as I pass heard a beam of light. Pause the video and think about this. Press play once you have made up your mind. The answer is that the dust particles are moving randomly. Did you say it? The dust particles are not always moving downwards but are also moving in all directions. The dust particles are very small and are supported by a fluid. In this case, the fluid is a gas. You are unable to see the gas particles directly because they are too small but you can see the large dust particles. The reason that the dust particles move randomly are because of the gas. We know that the gas is there because every time we move our hand through the air, we thought of against our hand. Try it now. Continue when ready. The particles in the air move in random directions quickly. This means I'll have many collisions or will bump into the dust particles many times. Each collisions between air particles vary. Small colored circles show how the dust particles, the black circle moves off in a new random direction. It is a bit like a game of snooker where there are millions of marbles which glide with larger observable particles like a ping pong ball. This effect was first observed by scientist Robert Brown. He was looking at pollen grains suspended in water under the microscope and he wondered why they jiggled around. He thought that the pollen was alive. It was later that scientists realized the importance of his discovery. Now, here is a challenge for you. Thinking about what we know about dust particles, can you explain why the pollen grains appeared to be jiggling randomly? Pause the video and continue when ready. In summary, the fluid is no longer a gas but is a liquid water. The pollen grains is colliding with many water molecules. Each water molecule is too small to see but we can see the combined effect of their collisions on the pollen grains as it moves randomly. This effect is known as you guessed it, Brownian motion.